when my father was alive, he had done so much for us and we took it all for granted. Just like how oh, the Lord has done so many things for us. Amen. And we have taken it for granted. Yes. But today is the day, I don't know why you should put me up here. But today is the day that I need to say, Daddy, I am thankful for what you have done for me yes. and for us because we have taken your time that you spent with us your hard work, your dedication, yes. you know, just because you were the father that everybody has had, but looking at it now as a adult, you were a good, good father. Yes. You were a faithful father to your family. Yes. We have never went to bed hungry, although he has seven children, all of us was on the one roof, yes. one mother, work so hard, but we never go to bed hungry. And the Lord has provided for us that this has never happened. Never happened and will not happen. So I give my dad thanks for that. The Lord has provided crops, everything that you can think of on that land yes. so that we could survive. So today, I can say that the Lord has given me a green thumb yes. and I enjoy planting uh -huh. because that's what God has instilled in my father. So therefore, I'm instilling it in yes. others and also my daughter, but she doesn't want me to it, I said, but there's still room for improvement. And I give God thanks for that. Alright? Yes. A good father loves his children, yes. but he doesn't let them away, let them get away with everything. He might disapprove on his child or children behavior using using to love to prove a point, but he does what he does through the power of his words, right? According to Proverbs 18, 19 verse 18, it reads, Chasten thy son while there is hope, and let not thy soul spare for his crying. Right? Children, children nowadays, they're different. They yeah. need discipline, and we have to discipline our children. Yeah. We have to spare the rod and spoil a child. You know, we love our children, but at times we have to discipline our children. Yeah. And what is going on in the school, going on in the schools nowadays, we have to stand up. We cannot leave them to teach us because people, some teachers, cannot discipline their children, right? So we have to stand up and discipline our children. So fathers, I'm imploring that you take a stand with your boys, because nowadays they are smokers in the school, yes. there's an escalation of crime and violence, there are scammers, there are teenage pregnancies, there's a lot of entrances that is deterring our child that has potential because remember that God has a plan for every child. Everyone he has a plan for and therefore we cannot let them ruin the purpose of our children. So therefore we ask you to stand firm but give them love, give them love, stand firm, you don't have to school them. That's why we go back so where we said that you need to be verbally expressive, right? So that you can be there for the children at all times, all right? Parents, we have issues with our children. 
we have issues with ourselves to and don't know that it is us and not them. So therefore, when when crises like this arise, let us just go to the Lord in prayer. Go to the Lord in prayer, seek Him, and He will give us the answer to move forward. Sometimes we go to our neighbors and our 